What's going on guys, Coach Malik here, and in today's video, we are talking how to count macros. So if you're ever interested in like how to count macros, especially with foods or meals with multiple ingredients, definitely watch this video. Um, today's vlog is definitely gonna just be literally strictly counting macros because I think it's very important. I think it help. I, it could really help a lot of you watching this video. So I am having tuna. As you guys know, I'm a big tuna fan. So I have two cans of tuna. I don't know if you can see those, but two cans of tuna. So I would just write down, you know, dinner. Two cans of tuna, 100 calories each, 200 calories total. I put some mayonnaise in my tuna. I put some mustard, I put some onions, I put some jalapenos, salt pepper. Now, another thing is people think that they have to check all that stuff. Again, you, I'll go into that in a little bit. The What's, My Fitness Pal. That's an app that I really recommend trying. Um, it looks like this, you log in. First, it gives you a whole bunch of articles, which are kind of cool. I've read a few of them. Um, really engaging articles, to be honest. Uh, and then you go to your diary. You got your diary. This is something I really recommend doing. If you know exactly what you're eating, you know exactly how much to exert. And then you go look at your progress. So you see my progress there and as you can see I use the free version still to this day um, you don't need to do the paid version now the paid version has obviously you know some extra features but it's totally up to you depending on where you're at and what your fitness goals are um, so that's the what and lastly how you can personalize them to your goal and I think this is gonna be the most important part of the video and this is all based off of your personal BMR so I'm gonna figure out how I can track this I, I was gonna write it and I was gonna do a screen recording um, but I think it's just too confusing. I'm just going to talk about it and you can rewind and pause this video as much as you want. Your BMR is basically is custom to you. So you can go on to, I believe it's calculator.net. I'm going to check right now. I'll put the link at the bottom. But you can calculate a BMR calculator. And what you can do is you can go into calculator.net and you go on BMR calculator. You go your age. So I'm 27. So I'm going to do mine right now. And then this is how you can do yours. Um, 27 and this is calculator.net and it's the BMR test. I'm a male, 5'10, 5'11 with shoes, but I want this to be accurate. Um, weight 198 as of today, no, weight 195.2 as of today. And then you can add some extra, uh, extra settings you don't have to. You can end it there and just calculate, and you'll get a pretty specific. Um, number of what your BMR is. And BMR is just your base metabolic rate, what you burn if you were sitting in bed all day, not moving. So that's not including the exercise. Calories, um, I do know my body fat, so I'll put that. If you don't, uh, just go into the Mifflin St. Your, you'll see that option. Just click that one. If you do know your body fat percentage, then you can do the Catch McArdle uh, test. And um, the body fat is 13.5. Calculate. So my BMR right now, all right, is 2,024. So I burn when I'm on the bed all day and not moving, not including exercise, 2,024. Now it says right here, and this will say it for you as well, uh, whenever you put in your averages, how much you burn if you have sedentary lifestyle. So little to no exercise. You'll be burning, I'd be burning, 2,429. If I, exercised one, if I exercised one to three times a week, 2,783. If I did daily exercise, 3,138, which is what I do, so I'm probably around 3,138. And a very intense exercise, daily physical job. This would be if you're practicing in a sport and you have to go to school and you have like more than two things that you have to do, it's just like a physical activity and you're moving around. Uh, for me, it'd be 3,846. Yours might be lower, yours might be higher. So what I'd recommend is figuring out what your specific BMR is. Once you find out what your specific BMR is, from that number, you can say, all right, how much can I eat today in order to hit my goal? So I'm gonna give you guys a little equation right now. So it's gonna be your BMR plus or minus, so it'd be like negative BMR because it's negative calories, um, minus, how much you're burning through exercise plus how much you eat equals negative whatever. 
So if you're trying to lose a pound a week, which is 3,500 calories, you can go 3,500 calories because you have to be a deficit. 3,500 divided by seven per week. Every day you have to be a 500 calorie deficit. So BMR, which is a negative number, minus your exercise number, plus what you eat has to equal negative 500, all right? That's in order to lose a pound a week. If you're trying to lose two pounds a week, it'd be BMR, which is negative number, minus how much you burn through exercise, plus how much you eat, equals negative a thousand and that will be two weeks two pounds per week two pounds per week so you it's all a math equation and the best way to get accurate results for that math equation is by tracking your numbers tracking how much you're burning that's why i'm always screenshotting how much i'm burning every day on my instagram if you're not following me coach malik but that is why because i'm able to see how much i'm eating in how much i'm eating out it says today I burned 3,000 so far on my watch because my app will show this again if you want any, if you want to try my app. Can you guys see it? I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you want to try my app, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's called Mind Body Performance. But there's a way that you can put on your Apple Watch where it shows you how much you eat in and then how much you burn. And basically at the end of the day, for me, I'm not trying to lose lose weight. I'm more trying to like kind of lean out and lose fat. I'm around I want to be around five negative five hundred to negative a thousand right here. So I'm trying to lose about a pound or two pounds of fat every single week. Um, for right now, I'm not gonna do it forever, but for right now during this program, so I need to be at the end of the day, negative 1,000. And so in order to do that, I need to have my uh, this number, my exercise, very high. My BMR is already pretty high, and then I just can't eat uh, as much as I want. I have to have a certain amount. That's the equation. So that's how you can personalize it to you. That's how you can personalize it to your goals and to your BMR. And if you like this video and you got some value from it, don't forget to share it with your friends so that they can get some value from it too and learn how to count their macros. And don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to push on the bell for the notifications so that you are the first to be notified when I post a new video. Guys, I appreciate every single one of you watching these vlogs. Again, I'm trying to go all in on these and make this YouTube my full time. So I appreciate all the support. Again, all the links uh, that I said previously are down in the description below. Remember, be certain in yourself and be certain in your skills and be consistent in your actions. Because